Welcome to Tech Wizard Armor. In this video, we are going to answer this uh, question. Uh, now, what is the data set uh, in uh, Azure Data Factory? The answer is the data set identifies data within the linked uh, data stores, uh, such as SQL uh, tables, files, folders, and documents. Uh, for example, an Azure Blob Store linked service uh, links a storage account to the data factory. And uh, Azure Blob uh, data set represents the Blob container and the folder that contains the input uh, blobs uh, to the to be processed. Uh, now that's very simple uh, to work with the ADF Azure Data Factory ETL uh, pipelines. Uh, what we need, we need to make connection uh, to the uh, data stores uh, such as Blob Storage or SQL and all that. Uh, and uh, that's where we use the linked service uh, to make that connection. Uh. Once we have the connection, uh, then the uh, next step is uh, which data we need uh, from that uh, data store. And data set uh, is uh, that object uh, that helps us uh, to get that uh, data. So this is the definition of uh, that. Uh, maybe we need to get the data from the container inside. There is a file sitting there from the blob storage and that's what uh, is going to be our data set. Uh, now, if uh, we are pointing to the Azure SQL database, uh, then uh, maybe we want to use the uh, table and select only maybe a few columns from there or maybe want to run uh, um, a store procedure, you know, so that's uh, what will be our data data set. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, here uh, what we have uh, Azure uh, Data Factory Studio and uh, first of all uh, we go to the link services. Uh, so there are multiple ways that uh, you can um, proceed this. So you can go to the data set directly and this is going to ask you the link service. Um, but in uh, here I'm going to create the link service first and then we we'll use it uh, in the data set. Uh, now from here uh, let's say I have Azure Blob Storage uh, and uh, if you notice here it is asking which integration runtime you want to use and which authentication method you want to use and then it asks you the subscription and the name of the storage if you see right here this is not asking us which file you want to use or which container you want to use and all that so link service is only connection to the blob storage here if you will create a uh, your sql uh, link service uh, it does not uh, ask you table or store procedure that you need to use uh, so let's go ahead and create this uh, link service first uh, and then uh, we will i will show you for the same thing for uh, azure sql or some other azure sql so this uh, link service right here and you notice that it is asking you know, integration runtime that you would like to use uh, to connect to the data store uh, in our case azure sql uh, database is our data store and here is it is asking you subscription server name database name and then authentication method it did not ask you any which table you want to use which sql query you want to use and all that because that's a part of a data set so link service is only connection and data set is the definition of that data that you want to get from there okay let's cancel this out now we know the difference between a link service and data set now link services is created and now we will go to the author here and uh, here we have tab called data sets um, data sets so once you create data set uh, you can use in multiple pipelines uh, so go right here and a uh, new data set uh, and here I will say Azure blob storage now in the previous remember when we were uh, doing the link service it asked us right away what is your subscription what is your uh, uh, blob storage name and all that uh, here when we are creating the data set it is asking us about the data itself or the files or containers and all that uh, here I'm telling this uh, hey I'm gonna make a uh, new data set for my uh, delimited text file um, so once I click next uh, it asks you okay fine uh, that I get it uh, that you want to connect to that file uh, that's what you want to uh, extract the data now which link service which connection string you will use uh, to do that uh, so I will tell uh, the link service I created right here next uh, is gonna ask me hey fine uh, navigate me into all the way to that file uh, you would like me to make uh, the data set uh, and then in the data set uh, will this uh, have a first row as a header yes and then you hit ok now you see that uh, text uh, the limited text one uh, data set is created uh, and uh, I can simply go here and preview my data you can see the data right here so now you have to publish uh, this uh, data set uh, if you want to keep using in multiple pipelines and uh, save it uh, if you don't want to save it just cancel this out uh, now if I go to a pipeline and create a new pipeline here what's gonna happen I can use this different activities so let's say I want to use copy activity 
Now I want to read the data which we have created in the data set uh, delimited text one uh, by using copy activity. So think about I want to read this data may from here in this ESV file and write to maybe some other destination. Uh. So I'm going to go to source here and then uh, it is asking me hey provide me the data set uh, and I already have the data set that I just created. Uh. Now it is good to go. So we can uh, preview the data here and uh, all those kind of things the same thing what we can do there. So it's possible right here preview the data and uh, that works just fine. We, we see the data, data this data set is returning us a few rows. Uh. Now if uh, I want to use a sync uh, in the sync uh, I can use uh, maybe same data set or already have created data set uh, or I can simply start from here and uh, you use let's say Azure SQL DB right now in this case uh, first of all when I do that uh, it's uh, going to ask me linked service uh, so I don't have linked service because it needs a connection to the Azure SQL database so I have to create a new linked service uh, and then uh, uh, let's say if I will go ahead and create uh, provide all that information it's going to create a linked service and then uh, it's going to ask me what table you want to load the data so that's uh, another data set will be created uh, right here one for our read uh, the CSV file and other will be to write to the Azure SQL database uh, table so I uh, you got the difference of uh, the link services are connection uh, to the data stores uh, and the data sets are uh, those definitions uh, to your uh, uh, files or container or SQLs or uh, store procedure that is uh, going to return the data or you are going to write that data to those objects uh, so those definitions will be saved here in the data sets. Um, thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.